Recently, I read about a guy named Angus who survived an entire year on only coffee and tea, and it changed his entire life. Could I do that? My grandpa got me addicted to coffee when I was like 10 years old. We drink it together at his house every single morning. Fast forward to today, and I'm gonna be drinking coffee, only coffee, for the next 50 hours. See if my man Angus was right. Is it really life-changing? No, I don't want you to do this. It's not safe for your health. I'm not promoting this. No one should do this. Don't do this. But you're doing it. Rule number one, for the next 50 hours, I can only drink coffee and water. Rule number two, my budget is $8 per stop. Coffee's expensive, all right? And rule number three, this is the one I'm not excited about, uh, no decaf allowed, which is awesome because it's nighttime. You know what they say, nothing better than a nice warm cup of joe before bed. You can see we're currently at McDonald's, famously known for their Mick Cafe coffee. Ah, yeah, McDonald's. Quite literally, the pinnacle of nourishment. So let's go get this challenge started off right and inject some caffeine into our bloodstream before we go to bed. See you in there. Over the course of this challenge, I'm on a mission to find the best coffee in America, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. But walking into McDonald's, I knew what drink I had to test first. Pumpkin spice latte, baby. Also, their machine offered me food and it ticked me off. But don't worry, I stayed strong. So I'm waiting for my coffee now, and the first thing that I've noticed is how incredibly nice this McDonald's is. I haven't been in a McDonald's in quite a while, and this place is cleaner than my bathroom at home. <laughs> I have to tell another man that I came to McDonald's for a pumpkin spice latte. Uh, I ordered a pumpkin spice latte. I had to let him know I never drink these, so I messed up the name a little bit. I think that's the name of it, pumpkin. I'll check. They was already making it. Thank you. It tastes like a 90% syrup, 10% coffee, but hey, that's more calories for your boy. What are you living off this? Nothing like a McDonald's all by yourself at night to make you think about the deep things in life. But I think it's time I tell you why I'm trying to find the best coffee in America. See, recently I was texting my buddy Jose when he sent me something I won't be able to forget. I don't like coffee. You ever see me in a coffee shop? It is hot chocolate on my hand and not coffee. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. I want to find a coffee so good it convinces Jose to eat his words. Right now I'm going to rate this B tier. It's good, but it's just incredibly sweet. It's going to be really hard for me to finish. Listen, I know some of you guys give me a hard time in the comments because you're like, why does this guy care so much about sugar? But trust me, if you try this, this is like drinking a cup of honey. Not the best coffee I've ever had. I know it's coming up tomorrow. I have some things planned. I'm nervous for them. See how we sleep after a nice cup of coffee. <sighs> you ever watch somebody else yawn and then you have to yawn? It's nighttime. It's time to go to bed. Before I do, check this out. We're gonna see how much the caffeine influences my sleep. The goal is to get between like seven and eight hours because we got a big day tomorrow. I have planned to go to some pretty unique, crazy coffee shops around here as well. I think I'm gonna have a robot serve me coffee. Hope that works out. Not too hungry yet. Feeling wired. It's time to go. Night night. Love you, Jesus. Picture of Jesus on my wall. Also James Bond. Night night. Good morning, guys. You know what I was thinking sounds good for breakfast? Coffee. Isn't this song nice? It's kind of like an off-brand version of the Ratatouille song from Disney. Last night, we hit our goal of getting between seven and eight hours of sleep. Let's talk about today's game plan. I just spilled coffee on the couch. We're continuing our quest to try to find the best coffee in our city. We want to stop at one of the biggest and most well-known coffee shops in America. I'm sure you can already guess what it is. Second, we got a surprise guest that's going to join us today. And then to finish today off, heard rumors of a robot that makes you coffee right here in my city. How many times Siri has let me down and Alexa has not understood what I'm saying. I don't know what makes me think I could trust him with my coffee order, but we're going to check it out tonight. Here we are, one of the coffee giants of America, Starbucks. Now, just this last week, Starbucks launched their seasonal drinks. So I'm about to go in there and see if I can get me a seasonal drink. The Starbucks seasonal drinks, costly, but effective. I've actually asked my friend Chad GPT to draft up the highest calorie drink I could possibly get. And I'm gonna order it in here, shall we? Hi, sorry, I'm just looking at the seasonal drinks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb and try the apple one. 
Okay. So can I do a venti ice apple crisp? Could I get that with whipped cream on top? Could I do extra whipped cream? Could I also do caramel drizzle? Caramel drizzle? That'll be all. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, so I just ordered an $8 coffee. Please subscribe for that $8 coffee that I just bought. Know that if you were here, I would give you some. I've never had a coffee this big, but I'm excited. I waited around and don't think I was mentally prepared for how big this thing was. Me too. Bro, look at this thing. Damn, this, this is huge. huge. We got apple drizzle on the bottom, cream, coffee, or maybe coffee, cream, I don't know. Whipped cream on top. I gotta stir this thing up. Super excited to try this. All right, let's taste test it. Do you guys ever eat Apple Jacks, like the cereal as a kid? Remember with like the Jamaican cereal guy? But after you finish and it was just the milk left over, that's exactly what this tastes like. Wow. wow. This is way better than the sweet one last night. My mind right now could change, but I think this is an S tier coffee right now. That's what it's like. It's like a Thanksgiving meal all in one drink, stirred up. We gotta drive and pick up a special guest because they're gonna come with me to my next stop. Let's down this coffee. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to introduce the special guest. Can I get a drum roll, please? My mom! <laughs> oh, I just love you. I'm gonna take you to a very nice spot. It's a special place, a place that's close to my heart. There's nobody who I'd rather have on this adventure with me than you. Mm, thank you. You want some of this? No, you drink way too much coffee. <laughs> you drink way too much sugar. You know that show, Comedians in Cars Drinking Coffee? Yes. This is basically that, except there's only one comedian in this car. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I want to ask you a couple questions on our way to this next stop, which is some of the highest quality coffee in the city. The first question is, who's your favorite child? Four kids. Whoever I'm with. Oh, good, good answer. You're with me most of the time, so I'll just... Uh, my next question I want to ask is, at what age did you start drinking coffee? Um, Interesting, okay. What is your go-to coffee order when you get coffee out? Maybe Americano if I'm fancy, but just a plain black coffee. We're pivoting here hard because I'm a bad host. If you had to give one piece of advice to somebody watching this video, what would it be? Uh, like and subscribe. <laughs> yes! I thought you were gonna go deep. I promise I didn't even tell her to say that. That is awesome. <laughs> We've pulled up to our stop. One second. Ta-da! This is where we're gonna have coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Let's do it. Gas station coffee. Humble yet absolutely delicious. All right, I'm gonna buy you any coffee you want. This has to be under $4. Okay. Isn't this place nice? Yes. Got all these options. Coffee here, coffee here. The best option is just the cleanest, the plainest coffee. After my experience with gas station food, you could say that I was pretty excited to show my mom the ropes. Just giving her her first ever gas station coffee. Oh. It's a big day for us. Yeah. Oh yeah. One Bay Draft Latte, you got black coffee, you're a simple woman. Take a sip and then you gotta rank it. <laughs> That's really good. It tastes like chocolate milk. I'm gonna go A, A tier. Not, not the best that I've had so far, but really close. I love you so much. That's a hand hug. All right. Bye. I'm feeling the whole no food thing. I tried to nap. That didn't work. I ended up just mindlessly scrolling my phone. Which, by the way, I just made an Instagram for all of us. Little plug. We got 165 followers on there. Anyways, I'm just like extremely hungry right now and kind of easily irritable because of it. I'm a little bit worried about tonight trying to sleep because I haven't eaten, but it is 5.41 p.m., which means it's time for me to go have what would be a dinner. So I'm gonna go with the fam down to have a robot make me a cup of coffee for my dinner. Let's go check it out. to make me coffee. After this devastating realization, we went to the park to ponder our next steps. And that's when this random man started photographing us. Got, yeah, three different shots there. Oh, that's a great one. Thank you so much. It's hard to see out in the sun. Huh? Yeah. Turns out the photos were pretty awesome. Who do you know? Only one place we could have gone. Feel love. 
Krispy Kreme, sweet, powerful, and mighty, just like Tonio's wife. I'm just now mentally processing how torturous this is going to be. Guys, I'm gonna try my best. There is a chance that I take a bite of a donut. Can I get a black coffee, please? And also whatever she wants. We made the right choice. I got a black coffee. Oh snap, sorry. Holland got donut holes. Time to taste test the coffee. Good, not great, C tier. Lowest I've had so far. Probably should have got the sugary coffee. Don't know what I was thinking. Nothing like a family outing to the good old Krispy Kreme. It was an amazing experience, as always, but I will admit, I've gone to Krispy Kreme too many times than I would like to admit this summer. I'm ready for this challenge to be done. One more day of this. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so I'm really trying to convince my boy, Jose, that coffee is unlike any other liquid. And so I'm pulling out all the stops, and one of those stops is consulting my expert coffee friends to see if he can teach me how to make the best cup of coffee. All right, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Anthony. Hey, que laque. What does que laque mean? It's like, what's up? Que laque. Que laque. Oh, que laque. Do you think you're gonna be able to train me to make the best cup of coffee ever? I think I could give you a few, a few pointers. It's on you if you do it the right way, but. Do you believe in me? I believe in you. He's got the hipster look. I think he, he can do this. Hipster? <laughs> Let's go do this. Let's go do this. Chequeamo. Chequeamos. Things quickly got complicated. We're using this little rig right here. We break up this little cloth. Smooth it out with this. This is not enough though. I'm gonna give it at least 15 to 20 pounds. You don't want to bang it. You don't want to separate the coffee from the edge of it. Where's the milk? Are we doing milk? I'll get milk. Right here. I'm gonna keep those cows happy. Oh, I love it. We're all we wait for that, what's the most coffee you've ever had in one day? Either seven or eight. What'd you say if I told you I was going two days without eating and I'm only drinking coffee? Ooh, uh, well, it's a diuretic. You'll definitely be dehydrated. <laughs> we don't leave. We have to run. Keep the cup at 45 degree angle. Yep, like that, like that, like that. Keep oh, 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 okay, you got okay. the Okay. You got the Looks like a snowman. <laughs> Look at that. It's nice like and a, foamy. It's like a coffee snow cone. Oh my gosh. That's actually so good. Is it? S tier coffee right there. <laughs> it was difficult, but we made a good cup of coffee. And then this happened. Coffee, coffee for, for life. life. Yup, Jose was onto us. It's hot chocolate on my hand and not coffee. Before I hiked to the coffee shop in the woods and ultimately win Jose over, I had one more spot to test. Back at the old stomping grounds. I don't know how I always end up at either a gas station or a dollar store in my video, but coming like my brand at this point. I don't know if that's good or bad. Anyways, that's to run in here and get some dollar store coffee. The dollar store is known around the world for their coffee, and I'm about to go get some. Let's go dollar store it up. The dollar store? Perhaps Tonio spends more time there than at home. <laughs> Sorry, I was just looking for uh, coffee. coffee. Don't worry. This lady was super nice and directed me where to go, and so I asked her. Dude, you good? You had the coffee here? Uh, no. No, I just stopped down there at the little Walmart gas station and it was on my way to work. I know a thing or two about gas station coffees, but it was time to be focused. We need to get the right ingredients and get out. I'm gonna try to make my own iced coffee. See how it goes. There you go. I <laughs> that way you don't have to pay like eight dollars for one at Starbucks. This is huge. Yeah, because I won't do that. I'm too cheap for that. I'll go spend eight dollars at the theater though for Mr. Pib. You're gonna be spending the same. Yeah, yeah. Okay, have well, thanks day. so much. Have a good one. <laughs> Nicest people ever. Bag secured, iced coffee fixing to be made. This is for all of you who spend eight dollars every single day on your iced coffee when you could just spend. Eight dollars, <laughs> fifty-six cents. Dang it. We're gonna make ourselves an incredible iced coffee from the dollar store. It's simple, really. All it takes is some water and some coffee. Stir it up, add some milk, and last but not least, the sweet whipped cream. Look at this fine piece of work right here. Without further ado, cheers. Okay. Looks can be deceiving. <laughs> it tastes like coffee flavored water. Best part about this is the whipped cream on top. And the worst part is that this is not giving me the energy I need to literally hike through the woods this evening to a coffee shop. 
I gotta be honest, guys. I feel incredibly fatigued right now. I may or may not have had a little snack. I was shaking. Okay, I was shaking. Or two. <sighs> but I'm committed. I'm finishing this thing strong. In a little bit, I'm gonna go hike through the woods and ultimately bring Jose a coffee that I hope he likes. So off I went. Our way out here, boys and girls. All right, everybody. We've arrived here at the trail. It is now time for us to trek into the woods to go find a coffee. I never thought I'd be saying those words, but I'm about to do that. Jose, this is for you, because I'm gonna be bringing you a coffee from those woods. Face whatever's in there. It's the last thing I do. It was gonna be about a mile hike from the top here. down to the coffee shop. It's eerily quiet. Like I could pass out just right here. Who would find me? Probably one of the mini bikers that's biking by, but you know. I checked with these ladies to be sure I was going in the right direction. For, I don't know, three quarters of a mile maybe? Up this way? Not even that far really. Okay, yeah. awesome, thank yeah. you. And Just like that, we made it. I walked inside, grabbed me a coffee, grabbed Jose a coffee. Awesome, thank you so much. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. I'm literally in the woods right now. This tastes absolutely incredible. I'm not even capping because it's the last one. I'm genuinely saying this, I mean it. It's the best one that I've had yet. Here's the final tier list review. I got Jose's drink too. Down this bad boy, trek back with this bad boy and give it to him. Hope he likes it. I think that he's going to. I'm just gonna say it. Thank you guys for all of the love that you've shown the videos over this summer. I grinded for like a year and a half with like basically nobody seeing my stuff and literally none of that would happen if it wasn't for you guys tuning in. I just wanna say I love you. Thank you. I am so ready to eat a full meal. I'm done with this freaking challenge. Let's go get Jose his coffee. Let's go have a good meal. I trekked back, cleaned up, and it was time. What are you doing, bro? Dude, I don't know. If... I brought you out here because oh. I just feel like it'd be more of a dramatic effect. Just standing in a field. Okay. I'm doing this for you. You know that, right? Yeah, wait. I gotta go get the camera. Wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Just gonna try it. Okay, I, here's the thing. If you like this, I get to take full credit for the life change that's gonna happen in your life. Oh, because wow. of it. Man, that's... It's terrible. I guess true friendship isn't agreeing on everything. It's just learning how to disagree and not disrespect. Aww. Let's go on an adventure in the next video, huh?